Hi, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. I recently had some reptile enclosures custom built by Jordan at Instinct Habitats. Let's check them out. This first one is about the same size as a 29 gallon aquarium. As you can see, it's set up with a bioactive substrate, and I use giant canyon isopods as the cleanup crew. I keep a trio of male garter snakes in here. My two red sided garter snakes, Rufus and Houdini, along with this little guy a plains garter snake named Ed Gruberman. I have a female plains garter snake too, whom we've named Prairie Dawn after the Sesame Street character, and she's housed with our female red-sided garter snake, Ruby. Though a foam background is an option in an instinct habitat enclosure, I've not constructed one in this enclosure for the time being. This is for simplicity's sake, as I haven't entirely decided which snakes are going where on a permanent basis, but that is definitely something I'm thinking of doing in the future. I wanted to show you the features of these enclosures and tell you what I think now that I've been using them for a little over a month. First of all, they are extremely light. The material used to build them is far lighter than PVC, and though it's not as hard as PVC, it seems quite durable and I have no complaints about it so far. Second, I appreciate the customization that went into these enclosures. Jordan consulted with me about which type of mesh to use on the top, the material we used for the main build, uh, the side ventilation, cord placement, depth of the substrate barrier, whether I wanted an opaque substrate barrier or a glass one, whether I wanted fixtures and cages for the lights inside the enclosure or have them on the top, and he also provided a variety of shelves for me to place in the enclosure where I wanted them. I still have some of these shelves and will probably place some more of them later on. Before I actually put anything in the enclosures, I wasn't sure how I would feel about visibility as opposed to an all glass enclosure, but once I got lights on the enclosures, I saw that visibility isn't really a problem. I think they look great the way they are. Jordan will, like I said, build in a glass substrate barrier or an opaque one based on your request. And I myself appreciate the additional visibility provided by the glass. These locks help prevent escapes as some snakes like our corn snake have been known to push sliding glass doors open without something like this. I also have young nieces and nephews or other young visitors, and naturally they want to see my reptiles. Obviously, I like to encourage their interest, but there's another reason why I appreciate these locks. I have more input into when and how reptile encounters take place here. The next enclosure is the same dimensions as a 40 gallon breeder. Before we take a look at it, I wanna thank my patrons. There are a lot of ways to support a YouTube creator, and you're doing a lot just by watching this video. But Patreon.com is undoubtedly one of the best possible ways to offer your support. For just one US dollar a month, which is about three cents a day, you can help improve everything that I do on this channel. From my filming and editing equipment, to expanding the opportunities I have to encounter new creatures to share with you. If you'd like to help support Aquarimax Pets, please check out the links at the end of this video or in the description. And now let's take a look at the 40 gallon breeder. Here's the enclosure for our corn snake. I opted to put this shelf on the cool side and he interacts with the shelf a lot. I was worried that I might not see the snake as much in this enclosure, but I need not have worried. I see him more now. He uses the hides in the warm and the cool sides, but he also spends time exploring the enclosure as well as basking under the light. This substrate is a mix that Jordan produced himself and he offered to let me try it out and let him know what I thought about it. It's too early to say a whole lot at this point beyond so far so good. I have Silisticus convexus Ukraine pied and some superworm beetles in here along with springtails as the cleanup crew. I've seen some much larger enclosures that Jordan has built and skaped and he does some great work. I'm definitely planning on asking Jordan to build more enclosures for me. For more information on instinct habitats, please check out the links down in the description. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.